sounding the sirens? I, I do not. And the reason why... And so many people said they could have been saved if they had time to escape. Had a siren gone off, they would <clears> have known that there was a crisis emerging. And as we know, so many bodies were found in the ground. As do you want, the him, do you want him to give you the answer? Or I do, do you want to give wanna, well, wanna then let him it? Finish, let him finish his I'm answer. sorry, there's a lot of people... Well, you're talking and you're not letting him talk. If you want to talk, come up here. I'm ready for the answer. Then wait. Have you sounded the siren that night? We're afraid that people would have gone Malka. And if that was the case, then they would have gone into the fire. What? If we sounded the alarm, we were worried people would run into the fire? Joining me now, Mark Morano, author of The Great Reset. Mark, let me see if I understand this right. Hawaii... Their disaster relief guy set off no sirens as the fires blazed, and then when asked about it, he said they he thought they just run into the flames blindly. Is that what he, is that what I just heard? You know what this is. We saw the exact same thing with COVID. Public health officials, government officials, now believe in any crisis that we are morons and that we can't be left to our own devices. That we're not supposed to do anything until they explicitly tell us what to do mask, vax mandate, stay at home. And the idea that a warning would be bad because the government wasn't prepared to tell you exactly how to handle the warning. So we're not gonna give you the warning that we could easily do, that we were claiming we, our warning system was the envy of the world. This was the Hawaiian uh, wildfire and emergency response warning system and nary a siren went off because they thought we were, the Hawaiians were too stupid and would run the wrong way or end up getting killed which sadly many did because there were no warnings which their tax money had paid good money to get. Uh, and there's many other factors as well. But hey, Jesse, one thing that's really simple, why not just blame climate change? And then it's your SUV's fault and we're all responsible and we have to go full Marxist in order to prevent the next Hawaiian wildfire and the deaths that associated with it. This is a, uh, a very telling moment. That clip you played is a good snippet into the mindset of what we're dealing with with unelected bureaucrats. Speaking of blaming climate change, John Podesta got up to the podium and did, well, pretty much exactly that. This summer has brought one climate disaster after another from extreme heat in Arizona and Texas and across the southeast to floods in Vermont and upstate New York to thick smoke from Canadian wildfires. And all of us have watched in horror as the Maui fires have claimed over 100 lives uh, the largest loss of life of a fire in the last hundred years in America. To stop these disasters from getting w even worse, we have to cut the carbon pollution that's driving the climate crisis, and that's what the Inflation Reduction Act is all about. Mark, so let me, uh, let me see if I understand this right. These people are so lacking in humanity that they can just see people charred to death, and immediately it's the Inflation Reduction Act and climate change. Just, just really anti-humans, Mark, is what they are. Yeah, they're, they're looking for something that doesn't implicate them. We now know that this was bad land management, bad emergency system response. We now know that the electrical grid wasn't updated. And do you want to know why? Because the electrical grid uh, supervisors were worried about renewable energy and investments in the solar, wind, and, and going with the Inflation Reduction Act. And Hawaii is going to be a green leader. Instead of making the actual energy that powers the island safer, updated. We saw the same thing in Texas, by the way, when their grid collapsed during the, re the cold snap that they had a few years ago. They had spent so much money on the green energy, they didn't actually make sure that they had a reliable grid with all. And even despite that, they still had fossil fuels fared the best. But in Hawaii, so many different problems. But with the Podesta clip is important here because our global ruling class is ready to pounce on this. We've already got people behind the Green New Deal now pushing Joe Biden to declare a national climate emergency. What an opportunity. A, a, a wildfire happens in Hawaii, despite the fact that wildfires are on no trend or declining, trend, radically declining trends, actually, both in the U.S. and globally. And the fact that, th that this happened because of human error all throughout the state, and you can search for it, and it's just coming up uh, horrible uh, facts on that. 
but it's much easier to do that. And then they have momentum now to declare a national climate emergency, because if they do, Joe Biden gets 130 executive powers, goes to mayors and governors. And what a better way, what a great way to find a quote, build back better aspect of the Hawaiian fire. At least some good will come of it. We can declare a national climate emergency and we can then uh, essentially bypass democracy again, like we did in COVID with all these new restrictions. These friggin' people. Plus the arson, Mark. People don't talk about that. California always has these wildfire problems because of forest mismanagement. And about every time people look into it, you find out it's some one of these climate change hippie freaks who's out there starting fires on purpose. Yes. In fact, I think with that stat, one of the uh, Hawaiian wildfire group, like 98 percent are not are not are started by humans. And a lot of it is could be a cigarette, but it could be campfires. It could be accidents. It could be arson. But the idea and it wasn't it wasn't uh, necessarily it's not it's very rarely lightning strikes in Hawaii. And it could have even the, the hurricane, which, again, hurricanes are not on global increasing trends are actually declining. But it could have been hurricane winds that helped spark this. Uh, but the ultimate thing is the reason climate related deaths are down 99 percent in the United and the globally over the last hundred years is because of our technology and our advanced warning. And we're building infrastructure now using fossil fuels to make us safe from the climate, regardless of whether you believe it's man made or natural. And in this case, human era failed that because we didn't even give people the chance. And what's interesting about this is New York Times, USA Today and ABC News all recognize this. They've run stories basically saying this was not a climate. Guess what the reaction was? ABC News did a headline saying this was not a cli caused by climate change. And they were hit with the F word bombs by climate activists. And within 24 hours, they reversed their headline and it said this was not entirely a climate change wildfire in Maui. So that's the kind of pressure that academia, the climate activists have on our corporate media. ABC News now literally had to change their headline and parts of the article to meet the climate agenda because they dared tell the truth about the, no, the fact that there was no climate link in this uh, wildfire. Yeah, please. Mark, thank you, brother. Come back soon. All right. Thanks a lot, Jesse. Appreciate it. I have great news. If you enjoyed that, I have a YouTube channel you can subscribe to. Whatever I do, it'll be right there on YouTube. So go subscribe today.